Right now, there is a ton of economic uncertainty within the United States. The stock market is hitting new lows on an almost daily basis. Interest rates are continuing to rise as inflation continues to run out of control. And the real estate market is also experiencing its own host of problems. Now, naturally, if you are someone who is looking for a loan, especially if you are someone that has a lower credit score, then this is by far one of the worst times that you could be trying to get access to one of these loans as lenders are getting more cautious with their money, pricing a lot of people out of the market. And even if you are someone that does have a higher credit score, the interest rates are getting pushed up even higher, making these loans expensive for everyone, no matter how much money you are looking to withdraw on your loan. And that's why today I want to break down some of the best loans that are currently on the market. They're all offering very low interest rates. In addition to this, they're allowing you to get your money with just a day or two of the application. There's also going to be a variety of different loan companies that we are going to have access to, meaning that there's going to be a wide band of credit scores that are going to have access to these incredibly great loans. Now, before we get into that, of course, if you want to manage your financial stability or you're just looking for a really safe and secure loan company, be sure to check out Quicken Loans with the link I have down in the description. Right now, they are not offering great rates on their loans. But in addition to this, they also have a whole host of planning tools allowing you to help track your financial performance. And hopefully if you do have a low credit score, map out a way that you can get that back up to something that is suitable. So if you wanna take out a loan with them or some other company, you're going to be in a much better financial position. So be sure to check out Quicken Loans with the link I have down in the description. Now, the first lender that I wanna take a look at today is going to be Lightstream by Truth Bank. And this is a really great option as they are offering a really wide variety of different loan options. So you can take out a loan from anywhere from $5,000 all the way up to $100,000. And this really sets them out from a wide variety of other lenders who although may have even smaller options if you were just looking for a couple thousand dollars in really quick cash, there are very few lenders that have such a diverse range, meaning that basically no matter what type of personal loan you are really looking for, they are definitely going to have the option for you. And in addition to the widespread loans, they also have very generous repayment plans. So you can set anything up from two to seven years, giving you a wide and versatile rate in order to pay back your money. Now, when it comes to fees, a lot of lending companies generally smuggle in a ton of fees, such as origination and late fees. However, with Lightstream, you are not going to have any of this as there is no origination or is there any late payment fee. And to top this off, there's also going to be no prepayment fees as well. Now, if you are someone who wants to set up auto pay, they are going to offer you an even greater incentive. And this means that your rate can be dropped down all the way to 2.5%. And if for some reason you are not satisfied with this loan rate and you somehow managed to find a better loan through a different company, you do have a 30 day grace period here, which means that you are going to be able to cancel your loan get your money back without any interest paid within the first 30 days. Now, in addition to this, they're also matching other lenders' loan rates right now, and they will beat that lender's rate by up to 0.1%. So let's say for some reason that you find a lender that is going to give you a personal loan as something that's like crazy low at 2%. Well, Lightroom will come in and beat that and give you a loan rate for 1.9%, meaning that they are very competitive and they are very aggressive at trying to get you the best rate especially with these prepayment fees. This is definitely going to be one of those personal loan lenders that is going to offer some really great competitive rates. Now, in terms of the credit score that is required for these types of personal loans, you're going to be wanting to look a little bit in the higher range, and that's going to sit at about a 660 credit score. Now, of course, credit score isn't everything, so even if your raw score is a little bit lower, the lender also, of course, takes into account a whole host of other options, such as your previous credit history, how much other debt you have, what your income is and what your financial and familial situations look like. So even if you do have a lower score, there is the possibility that you could get qualified. Now, given that Lightstream is one of these premium lenders, there is one downside, and that is that you're not gonna be able to pre-qualify for your loan. So if that is something that you'd like to do or have looked for that security from other lenders, this is unfortunately something that you're not going to be able to get with this company. And in addition to this, they're also not going to allow you any form of cosigner. So if you have been looking for a loan that allows you a cosigner, then unfortunately Lightstream is not going to be the option for you. But don't worry because further down on this list, I do have a couple options that are going to allow you to pre-qualify as well as get a co-applicant if that is something that you need because your credit score is on the lower side. Now, the last thing about Lightstream that is very important is that they have a wide service area. So while a lot of lenders are generally locked to just a handful of states within the U.S., Lightstream is a national program, which means they're going to be able to offer you a loan within all 50 states. 
So that is going to include Hawaii and Alaska, two states that have traditionally been left out of focus by a lot of lenders. So this really is one of the largest multinational programs that you can get your personal loan from. Now, next up on the list, we do have a lesser known lending company known as PinFed. Now, the reason that you probably haven't heard of them if you've been doing any research into these lending areas is predominantly because they were originally set up to serve military services and other government officials such as firefighters and police officers. However, since then, they've recently expanded to the general public, which means that a lot of more people are going to have access to these loans. Now, all the rates that they are going to be offering are fixed rate, and you're going to be able to get a loan from an ultra low level at $500 all the way up to $20,000. So this is definitely a company that is focused on smaller personal loans with quicker turnaround times. So this is definitely not the company that you are gonna to wanna to go to if you are needing 50 or 60, $70,000 in cash. This is definitely more focused towards people that need emergency cash and plan on paying it back in a relatively quick period of time as well. Now, because of these shorter time spans, the rates are going to be a little bit higher on here. So we're gonna be sitting anywhere between about 5.99% all the way up to 18% on the interest rate. Now, naturally, that is going to be a mixture depending on how long you want to pay back this loan and in addition to how much you are going to be taking out in the first place. Now, PenFed is also going to have virtually no fees just as well as Lightstream, which means they're going to have no origination or payoff fees or is there going to be any other hidden fees. Now, if you do want to get started with a loan through PenFed, it is something that is very easy. They do have a mobile app despite being located on the East Coast, meaning that no matter what time zone you are in or no matter what time of day, you want to try to get set up with a loan it's going to be very simple all you have to do is go on their website or their mobile app and fill out your application electronically and submit it to them then they are going to have an extremely fast turnaround time to see if you are going to be able to get approved or denied for the loan now in terms of credit score they are going to be a little bit lower than light stream however it is still on the higher side so the bare minimum that you're going to need for a credit application with them is going to be about 650 which I know is definitely something that is a more competitive rate. However, this is one of those companies that is offering an extremely short turnaround and is offering relatively competitive loan rates. So this is definitely not something that you are going to be able to get if you do have a lower credit score, let's say something that is under 500. However, I do promise you that there are loans that are out there that if you do have one of those more poor credit scores, there are definitely options available for you. Now, although this isn't going to be a total remedy, if your credit score does not meet that limit, they are fortunately offering co-signers on your loan. So if you do manage to find someone that wants to support you and does have a credit score that is over that minimum limit, then this is also going to be an option for you where you can co-sign with them and get qualified for that loan that way. Now the specific use cases for PensFed loans are pretty wide. You're obviously gonna have your standard debt consolidation, but these are also going to be loans that are intended for medical and dental expenses. And they are even offering an option to pay off student loans. However, if you are looking to use PenFed to pay off your student loans, you may have to do a separate application for a specific loan that is geared towards them. However, it does look like the rates are going to be relatively the same. So if you are a student and looking to go this route, then PenFed is another great option for you. Now, next up on the list, we are going to have a very large lender that I'm sure you are familiar with. However, you've probably overlooked it. Maybe if you've been a little bit on the lower credit score side, and that's because U.S. Bank is definitely one of those premium lenders and is very popular for a ton of people who are looking to get involved with a personal loan. Now, as of right now, the company is offering loans from anywhere from $1,000 up to $25,000. And they are offering long-term rates for all of these, meaning that your payment period is going to be anywhere from 12 to 60 months. Now, fortunately, the interest rates here are also going to be incredibly low. They are sitting anywhere between 5.5% and 16.5% meaning that you are going to have a wide variety of interest rates depending on the length of time that you do select for your loan. In addition to this, your credit score is obviously going to be a factor depending on what interest you're going to get. Now, similar to the other lenders on this list, there is going to be a 0.5% auto pay discount on your interest rate. So if you do sign up for the automatic repayment plan, your interest rate is going to drop by 0.5%. So this is a really great feature as I assume that most people who are looking at these personal loans or going to have the means to be able to pay them back. Obviously, you should have the means to pay them back if you plan on taking out a loan. So this is a really great way to save some additional money on your personal loan. Now, a great option here is that there is no prepayment loan, nor is there going to be any origination fees. So this means that you're going to have extremely limited fees additionally here. 
So basically all that you're going to be paying back to US Bank if you decide to take out a loan with them is going to be your initial deposit as well as whatever that interest rate is. Now, unfortunately, there are two requirements for US Bank that are going to be a little dissatisfactory for some viewers. First of all, you do have to be a member of US Bank if you want to get a loan through them. And the second thing is, is that you're also going to have to have a credit score that is above 680. So with these two requirements, I do not anticipate that a ton of you watching are going to be able to have access to US Bank as a lender. However, I'm just putting it out there. If you are someone who is in the fortunate position to be able to take out a loan with them, then they are definitely one of those great lenders that you should further look into. Now, in addition to this, there is a little bit of a problem with geography as they only have about 24 different locations in the United States. And you do have to go to the physical location if you do want to sign up and qualify for a loan. Meaning that a lot of people who are interested here, even if you do meet all of the minimum requirements, and are a US Bank member, you probably are going to have some difficulty getting a loan through them. Now, another lender that we have up on this list is going to be from another massive provider, and that is going to be Wells Fargo. And they're going to be offering personal loans for a wide variety of options, including debt consolidation, as well as many other personal financial options that you may need them for. And their limits are going to extend from another pretty wide range, anywhere from $3,000 all the way up to $100,000. Now the time frames that you have to pay these back in are also going to be pretty wide. This is going to extend all the way from 18 to 84 months. And this is going to give you a very large time frame in order to pay back those loans. So this is definitely an option that a lot of people like as it generally seems that most people aren't really down into paying their loan back in one or two years. A lot of people really like to stretch this for three, four, or even five years. So Wells Fargo is definitely going to be the lender that is going to give you that option if that is something that you are interested in. Now, of course, the interest rates on these loans is something that is also very important that we need to talk about because if you do expand the repayment period, you are going to end up paying a lot more interest over the long run. But fortunately, these interest rates are also very competitive. Currently, they're sitting at the lowest at about 5.75%. And then this is going to go all the way up to about 25% on the payback plans. Now, just like a lot of other large lenders on this company, they are, of course, going to be offering the auto pay discount. However, instead of the current standard 0.5% that we've seen on a lot of these other lenders, Wells Fargo is unfortunately offering a little bit less, and they're currently sitting at about 0.25%. So while though this is something that is nice to see, it is something that is a little bit disappointing given that lenders like US Bank or Lightstream have offered more competitive audit payment plans. Now the qualification from Wells Fargo is going to be a little bit similar to US Bank. However, you are going to be able to get a loan through them if you are not a US Bank customer. However, the difference is, is that you will have to go in person to apply at your nearest Wells Fargo, where if you already are a customer, then you can simply make the application on your phone and they'll get back to you even faster. Personally, I prefer doing the auto applications just because it's a lot simpler. Generally, none of the paperwork gets lost. You don't have to go in and sit with someone for a few hours. You already know that you're going to get approved in a relatively short period of time. So for me, the option for you having to go into the store if you're not a Wells Fargo member is personally a little bit of a turnoff for me. However, if you don't mind that, you certainly can get access to one of these loans at any of their great rates, even if you are not a member. However, I do believe they will make you sign up for a checking account in order to be able to deposit your money, and you have to use that to repay your loan. So that is something else that you need to take into consideration. Now, since Wells Fargo is a very large bank, they are going to be offering the personal loans to anyone within the United States. Of course, that is going to incorporate Alaska as well as Hawaii, meaning that no matter where you are, you are going to have access to one of their loans. However, a few states do not have Wells Fargo's branches. So if you are not already a member, you might not be able to get a loan through them. If you live somewhere like Kentucky, where Wells Fargo currently doesn't have an in-state location, and that is another thing that you need to keep in mind. So that's all the personal loans that I have for you today. Let me know what you think of the interest rates on these loans down below in the comments. Of course, if you want to start building your credit score or looking for another great lender to give you a loan, be sure to check out Quicken Loans with the link that I have down in the description. And with that being said, guys, I will see you in the next one.